The incoming Yoon Song Yeol administration unveiled a long list of its policy goals today. These include full compensation for small business owners hit by the pandemic and a roadmap for economic growth. There was no mention, as some had expected there might be, of deploying more units of the U.S. anti-missile system THAAD. Yoon Jung Min reports. The Presidential Transition Committee has unveiled the incoming Yoon Song Yeol government's policy goals, which include six policy directions and 110 specific tasks under a vision of taking another leap forward, prospering together. Chairman An Chul-soo said Tuesday that the new government will put individuals first rather than the nation and emphasize the national interest, practical policies, fairness, and common sense. The current zeitgeist government is focusing on individual happiness and enabling people to live well together, rather than a collective way of thinking that prioritizes the country as a whole. Broader goals focus on fairness, reviving the economy, strengthening welfare, nurturing science and technology, contributing to peace and inter-Korean relations, and expanding local autonomy. The incoming government has pledged full compensation for small business owners hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. It also plans to scrap the current government's policy of phasing out nuclear power and plans to reform both the justice system and the national pension system. On housing policy, it aims to provide some 2.5 million more homes to stabilize the market. The Transition Committee emphasized economic growth led by the private sector and supported by the government, aiming for deregulation and financial and tax incentives. The new government also plans to provide more support for new technologies, including semiconductors, AI and batteries, to increase the amount of semiconductor exports by more than 30 percent until 2027. It aims for the denuclearization of North Korea and normalizing inter-Korean relations while using AI technology to reinforce South Korea's military power. The initiative unveiled on Tuesday did not include deploying additional units of the U.S. anti-missile system thought. We continue to take a reserved stance on this. You can look at it that way. At this point, even the existing thought system is not working properly. Other tasks include reinforcing social welfare, nurturing key culture and narrowing the gap between the capital and other regions for balanced growth. The committee said its policy goals overall will require additional budget spending worth some 165 billion U.S. dollars over the span of five years. Since the presidential election in March, the Transition Committee has been working with experts in a range of fields to establish the UN administration's policy goals. The new government takes office next week. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.